What do you think Kaplan's a coach? Do you really help you in the game? Is he really good in emotional coach too? Yes. Ka Kaplan's actually both really good strategically and really good emotionally. And um, I actually I actually did learn a lot um, playing under like Cap and Drew uh, as a coaching staff. They definitely have made me think about the game differently. I, th I, think, I think the way that I was thinking about the game definitely was outdated for like looking back on it. I think like the 2022 era and like 2023 era, the way I thought about the game was definitely very outdated and not too valiant yet. And I think it's kind of like still like kind of like a Counter-Strike mindset. I, I think I was maybe ahead in terms of like other Counter-Strike players in the way I thought about stuff. Um, Cause I did try to like throw shit out of the window and try to learn Valorant as is rather than like relying on CS knowledge. But still, it's kind of habitual, and I mean, playing a game for like five to six years will kind of do that. Um, so it, it was kind of hard. How so? I mean, it's it's more of like the importance of alt orbs. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of like I had to turn my brain more Overwatchy in a way. Like you have to look at the abilities and play around with like what's in the deck, right? And try to like I don't know mid max alt orbs um that's like a, what all the best teams will do It'd be like oh my god you're like six out of you're five out of seven go hunt and go defuse the spike and then now you have your alt and then you guys should use your alts so you get more alts it's like alt cycling it's kind of it's like a it's a thing that's used in overwatch like people will rotate their alts to have like constant alts in rotation to just constantly win fights it's kind of the exact same shit in valorant i will not lie um and so that's something that i had to learn because uh i mean back in the day like i would have my jet knives for example i was playing jet a lot but like i would have my jet knives a lot and i kind of felt like i wanted to save them for rounds that i wanted to use them rather than using them to get a free round and then use more jet knives later on because i have the space to take up all towards more often like i definitely would save my my jet knives for like three to four rounds but like honestly if i just pop them like maybe like one round buffer, I think it's okay time to use it. Or if I'm in like a 3v2 situation, like just pop the knives, just run it down. Um, so I think that was kind of like a way that I started thinking about the game differently, but also um, it probably came in part with me playing a role character too, because my transitional phase from going a, just a straight duelist into more roles. Like I, I, in 2023, I was playing fucking like Sage even. I was playing like Sage, KO, um, I played some jet, but like I, I did that transition and then 2024, I switched over to like uh, low key, like full-time smokes on Omen, um, with occasional flexes to Gecko and KO. Um, but yeah, you just have to think about the game differently when you use utility characters. What about the emotional side of coaching from Kaplan? I mean, like, I don't want to like get too in deep, but he is a really good, like emotional like he can he can connect with the players and actually be very like i don't know how do i how do i put this into words good <laughs> i don't i don't know